back to you again. Excited today to bring you the full review of the Deficiano Watches Marlin Diver. Uh, their Kickstarter campaign has hit the pedal to the metal. Uh, whenever they sent me the watch, uh, it was about five, six days ago, uh, and that campaign was running a little bit slow. Again, I think it was simply due to exposure, uh, but here they've hit the home stretch. I think they're at $19,000 when I checked this morning eight days to go, uh, I think we can get them over the hump. $6,000 isn't a lot to do at this point after so many people have found them. Uh, and hopefully today after my full review, you'll be able to make a good decision as far as purchasing this product for yourself. Um, just a couple quick shout outs before we get started. I'm rocking an Explore Range shirt today by the good guys over at Explore Range. You can find them on Instagram. I'll put some links down below. Their website's awesome. They just uh, released a brand new rain jacket, a light rain jacket for kind of the summer, you know, fall transition months. You need to go check them out. Uh, I have a, a hat that I rock all the time on my Instagram page uh, from them as well. Love their stuff. Two really cool guys over there in Nashville doing some cool things with their small brand uh, and trying to get bigger, obviously. So shout out to the guys over there at Explore Range. Um, I'm rocking today. My wrist check is my marathon navigator. Uh, matching the shirt pretty well today, man. Enjoying it. Woke up feeling kind of military today. Going to keep track of this video. Try to keep it as concise as possible. Uh, thank you so much for the support you've already shown through Instagram and through YouTube. Had a lot of great people reach out with some awesome compliments and comments and some good constructive feedback. So thank you for that too. Uh, I appreciate all those guys who are following me on this little journey and who are just members of the watch fam and just enjoy uh, this space where we get to talk honestly about these products, what we enjoy, how they fall short, what they could do to be better. And again, I just really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Uh, let's grow these numbers on, on YouTube. Our, our, our Instagram following has quite a few more followers now than YouTube. So we're trying to bolster that a little bit. So please, if you don't mind, hit subscribe. If you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the content, please uh, share it with a friend, man. Let's see if we can spread this around a little bit and see if we can increase the volume of people that get to share in these reviews with us. So without further ado, we'll flip the camera. We'll take a look at the Deficiano Marlin back in the macro view, uh, and I'll give you my thoughts and my feedback on what I think they did great and how I think they can be better. But most of all, we're just excited that Deficiano shared this watch with us so that we can get a good review of it. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Thank you much for your support. And if you aren't already, man, I hope you're living the dream. Okay, let's take a look at the Marlin a little closer up so we can get our full review and make sure that we are showing you guys everything you need to know to make a great purchase on this watch. Uh, you know, first things first, just kind of overall look of them, feel the watch. I think they pulled off a very professional dive watch feel. Um, with the the cool you know uh you know kind of sharp mesh diver a little bit kind of an homage to that kind of bracelet maybe a beads of rice bracelet homage as well i thought they did a great job of giving us something different it's not the you know the the seiko kind of out of the box from a, a department store band um, i like that feel again the heft of the watch to me is very significant it feels something of value uh, and again you know as micro brands go i think that they did a good job presenting a piece that that feels like it punches above its price point. Um, I think now that I have the watch in hand, they could have charged more money than they're asking and it still would have been people's uh, favorite. I think people would enjoy it. I think people would talk about it and post about it. So the fact that they are releasing it for a very well under $300 price point, American dollars is pretty awesome. So. That's my first initial feel. Um, I do like the watch quite a bit, um, you know, uh, and we'll get into some of the specifics. So you have a uh, 20 uh, millimeter lug spacing here. Uh, you know, they call it down a 20 inch band, obviously that tapers down to the clasp at 18 inches. Um, something to mention here on uh, the measurements is just, you know, I do feel like it's kind of in the middle. I don't feel like it's as thin as some of the watches that are looking to go thin with their case design as it sits on the wrist. But I also don't think it's too chunky. Uh, you know, I have a deep blue, uh, you know, thousand uh, meter uh, watch that I love, and it sits about the same height off my wrist. Um, it's a bigger uh, watch face. Uh, you know, a bigger diameter on that face. And so like, you know, I think that, you know, it kind of takes some of the, the height off of it, but I don't think that they did a bad job here, the dimensions whatsoever. Uh, 40 mil across the face, um, 
and uh, you know with the turn down lugs here it sits on the wrist and hugs the wrist really nicely um, I do think that measurement wise you know they did a good job I don't think it's too chunky by any means but I also don't think it's slim or thin uh, you know I have a bigger wrist and so I appreciate them giving us uh, that they say it's 41 and a half all the way to the to the uh, crown uh, and, and so you get that as well 13.9 almost 14 uh, tall uh, again if that's a little tall for you I would think that the rounded uh, lugs does help with that some so I wouldn't be intimidated to go there uh, and, and to give it a try um, let's talk about the dial a uh, very clean layout I love the uh, the indices that they're not just lines they're not just dashes uh, there's a great application of loom in this thing this is c3 luminova on this one this is just going to be the green with also the the uh, loomed bezel insert as well ridiculous amounts of loom on this thing lasted all night very very bright um, put it side by side with one of my Seikos. And again, you know, uh, it, in all cases and purposes, it won. Uh, so very impressed by that. You have the date layout down there at six o'clock. I, I love the dial. It, it, you know, it's very clean. It's very simple. They didn't go crazy with their badging on the watch. They kept it pretty simple and minimalistic. I like that. Um, you know, and, and so the other detail that rather than putting a logo on the watch face, they signed, uh, you know, uh, they signed here, uh, right? It's awesome. I wish I could get the camera to focus here for you, but they put an awesome Marlin on, on the crown. Really cool idea. I mean, and again, you know, rather than, um, rather than spend a lot of time and money on that, that dial face to cloud it up and to make it more murky. Uh, they got a really cool uh, version of the dive, the diver's stamp. The Marlin is what they're naming the watch on the crown here. Obviously, on the watch back, you get a much bigger Marlin um, that's really, really cool. A um, lot of cool engraving on it. And again, not what I expected for this price point. Not what I expected for a Kickstarter watch of somebody that um, I hadn't heard of before I heard of them, you know, before I found them. So, um, with your bracelet, uh, as far as your clasp goes, I like it. I've heard some people that, that don't love the style. I think it's really nice. To me, it's a little bit nicer than, again, your average kind of low-end low, low end Seiko. Uh, good closure, good strength. I uh, feel like it's good. Cool diver's extension is what they claim that they wanted to do with this little micro adjustment here. Don't know if that's going to be completely big enough for a diver's extension over a wetsuit, but it does allow some play in the watch to give you some some extra you know adjustments and then with three micro adjustments on the actual bracelet solid in links uh, that attach into the uh, the watch really nicely uh, I like how they did that seamlessly um, the watch uh, you know as far as bracelet goes fits uh, uh, very very well on my wrist uh, very very uh, smooth on the inside I have a hairier wrist and I don't get any uh, grabbing or clinging to the wrist at all so no pain there appreciate that small detail but again I think the bracelet alone is worth you know a, a pretty good uh, uh, evaluation in your opinion before you buy the watch I mean just for this bracelet alone I think there's some people out there who are dive watch people uh, that will appreciate it and want to buy it simply for that so so, um, watch run great, uh, kept accurate time in the time that I had it, kept up with all my Seikos, uh, and I feel like that was great. Um, you know, with the, the different finishing on the case, you have some polishing, you have some brushing, you have some different, you know, light that catches it here and there, uh, and I feel like it's really nice. I feel like it's a watch that they took their time on. Um, again, this is a prototype. I imagine with the finished product, they're going to clean up some of these small things. Um, you know that, that that I found in it, or that other people have found in it, to make sure that it's a product that the once it gets to you is perfect. Um, but again, guys, I, I really enjoy the watch. A few things that I think that Deficiano maybe could have done better. Um, the AR coating on this thing is not up to what I've seen on other uh, micro brands. And again, one of my hopes is that in them sending us a prototype to get it out for their Kickstarter launch, that the, the full production uh, uh, will have a better AR coating. Um, and again, just because I got the black version, um, you know, it seems to make that more pronounced. I get a lot of reflections. The light, especially in the sunlight, plays off it pretty hard. Uh, and can be harsh sometimes on the eyes. Um, another, you know, just small thing that I think they could have done a little bit better here. Um, 
So, you know, uh, I think that, you know, everything is brushed on the wash and then, you know, you have on the hand, see if I can get a good view of it. You have a pretty high polishing on the hands and then on the uh, indices around the indices, you have some pretty high polishing. Uh, and then on the date window, you have high polishing. I don't mind that at all. I love the polishing, but I think that they probably could have tied that back in somewhere else a little bit better. A lot of brushing on the, on the uh, case and on the body of the watch. The beads of rice beads uh, or the shark mesh, however you want to call that, uh, depending on what you like to call it or think it is, uh, you know, is again a high polished. So I guess there's some tie in there with that high polished mirror surfacing on those smaller spots. It doesn't take away from the watch. It doesn't bother me. It's just something that I noticed. And again, if you are very particular about your dials and about the way that uh, they look, you know, that could be something that, that, that gets you. Um, Again, those are small complaints for a watch that, that under $300 that gives you all these things. Um, please pay attention to the other colorways. You know, my personal favorite, I believe, you know, are some of the ones with the Loom Chapter Ring. Uh, you know, I think right now if I was going to purchase one myself to, to support them on their Kickstarter, the one I'm going to go with will probably be, I don't know, I have it between the Silver Sunray Dial and uh, the Dark Gun uh, Sunray Dial. Both of those have the Loom Chapter Rings, and so I think that's really cool. This Loom on this one is, is only in the indices, the hand, and then on the bezel uh, insert. But these other guys have, uh, you know, these Loom Chapter Rings that are really, really cool. Matter of fact, I believe the, uh, the dark blue Sunray dial, they actually went BGW9 on the, uh, on the Chapter Ring to give you a contrasting Loom in a watch under $300. Really, really cool. Uh, I know Zalos does that. I know that... Um, a couple of, of the uh, high-end micro brands that are you know kind of breaking out of the micro brand scene and almost becoming their own thing have the different color uh, loom but for a brand like this to be jumping on the scene and doing something like that I think is really really cool I'm a loom guy I love loom monster watches and this uh, definitely fits the bill as well as the other ones as well so um, I like it guys uh, my overall feel is that the the few things that I don't love about the watch aren't enough to keep me from wanting it or keep me from supporting their Kickstarter uh, you know the bezel action on this thing is incredible it's crispy it's crunchy it's got a great noise and feedback great tactile feel and I just feel like in a lot of ways this fits the bill for a great dive watch if you're looking for this one to knock your SKX off your wrist I don't know that it will and that's just simply because the black face one um, to me doesn't have quite the seamless and timelessness in the design face as the SKX so you know as far as that goes um, but what this will do is this will kind of satiate a different need in your dive watch category in the watches you have if you're all military if you're all field watch and you're looking for a dive watch to go that's not an SKX and that's what everyone else has this is a great uh, option for you again I doubt you're gonna be at anywhere uh, the coffee shop the office uh, you know the nice dinner uh, with friends and and reach across the table to shake hands with somebody else that has this on. I do think because of their um, you know, newness to the scene, it's gonna be a while before your buddy at work has one. So if you're a guy that likes to find the different things, the things that no one else has, the things that's quality uh, and priced you know, well, punches above its value, then I think this is a great cause for you. Uh, I appreciate their support. I hope that their campaign makes it. They're 6,000 short uh, with eight, nine days to go, and I really do feel like they're gonna make it. So, you know, I think you can bid with the confidence. I think you can lay your money down knowing that they're gonna deliver, and hopefully Deficiano is here for, you know, a while. We get a couple different iterations and a couple different releases of different watches by them. So I'm gonna try to get a loom shot right quick, see if I can hook y'all up with that uh, before we go. Again, thank you as always for your support. Uh, I really appreciate what you're doing. Please hit subscribe. Trying to get these subscription numbers up on YouTube. Our, our Instagram following is great. So it's not completely dark in here, but you could even see in a daytime loom situation, that thing is on fire. And I'm telling you guys, at night, uh, this thing goes crazy. So um, please give Deficiano a look. They have a website. I'll put the link into the show notes. I'll put a link to their Kickstarter. Um, Random Rob, another great watch reviewer, did a cool review on this one.
as well. Uh, and so if you want to look at his thoughts as well, a little more established in the watch review community, you can get his take on it as well. So um, thanks to the Ficiano. Thanks to you guys for supporting us. Uh, and please, man, hit subscribe, hit like on Instagram. I have a lot of loom shots of this guy on Instagram and a lot of pictures. I try to get some macro pictures on Instagram. So please check me out over there. Live three dream co that's live three dream co over on instagram find me there uh, i'll put a couple cool links down into the show comments if you want to click on those check out the watches i'm looking at for my next purchase you can look at those as well so thanks so much appreciate you guys deficiano marlin diver blackface c3 luminova 120 click bezel you got 40 mil in the, in the uh, face great dimensions great bracelet Love the clasp. Everything here is strong. Awesome sign. Crown. Awesome engraving on the case back. I just don't think you can go wrong, guys. If this fits your bill, if, if this is a watch that looks good to you, go check them out. Give them a try. See what you think and see if they can be a part of your, uh, your watch roll. So thanks so much. Hope you guys are living the dream. If you're not already, make sure you're doing it today. Thanks.